everybody going to be doing a tutorial on the channel rack or the step sequencer in record time so here we go in order to open up the channel rack you can either hit F6 on your keyboard or you can hit this icon up here it pulls it up here's my template I'll get into that in a little bit but for now let's just get a beat going so I'm gonna go I'm gonna use the groups here and I'm just gonna go to my kick snare hat group and I'll talk about groups in a little bit but let's just pull in uh, a kick to the kick sample so I'm just gonna pull it from left click pull it from my sample library pull it in um, let's see let's just get a hat going and let's throw it in there let's just do kick in hat for now right okay so here are all the they call it a step sequencer right these are all your steps here so this is 16 uh, steps that's a, an entire bar so four beats one two three four there's your four beats and then these are your individual notes within each beat so your 16th notes um, so it's cool you can either like just left click and fill the them each in. You can left click and hold, fill them all in, right click hold and you can delete them or just right click and delete. Uh, you can also do things like as right click on the sample itself and you can do fill each every two steps, four steps, eight steps. So let's just do fill every four steps. Um, there's also something cool here too. You can just do rotate right and they'll all slide down one right. You can do rotate left, they'll all come down to the left. Um, here's our hat. I'm thinking let's do the hat every two steps, right? And let's hear how this sounds. All right, so pretty basic, right? Just kind of a kick in a hat. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you real quick how it gets up and running. Now remember, the uh, step sequencer isn't by itself in FL Studio. It's part of the playlist, right? It's part of the piano roll. It's part of everything else. So we can actually take this pattern that we just made right now, and we could throw it into our playlist. So that's kind of cool. So there you go, you're already building a song. But let's actually stay focused on uh, the step sequencer. But that is how you kind of take a pattern and you put it into your song. But let's go over here, right? So um, so when I highlight one of these tracks, and I can just left click, right, and it's green, or I can left click and drag, and I have several ones, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. Like for example, if I left click this, okay, I can clone select it, right? So if I do that, no, I have two. I have that same kick. It's going to be on this channel here. Um, let's see. What else can I do with that? I can uh, move selected up or down. So let's, let's. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just take this um, snare for example. There's nothing on it actually right now. But let's just. I can um, move selected up, and now the snare came up a position. If you just kind of want to regroup some things, there's muting, unmuting. So there's lots of choices there. Um, so as long as you have something highlighted over here, you can get to all these available options on the menu. And one of those things is doing the grouping, right? So right now, so let's talk about groups. So I have all my groups here, right? This is everything, everything I have on my on any song. I can break it down in my synths, right? I have Serum, that's the soft synth. I have my kick, snare, and hat, which we just saw. So I can, if I have a track with tons of stuff going on, I can kind of, it makes it a little more manageable. So let's go back to all, and let's say you want to make a group. You can go down here to plus, and you can add some stuff. You can really, remember, uh, the step sequencer really works with everything. Samples, automation, VSTs, you can really load anything into it. Uh, so we'll put a rewire there. Let's put in a layer. That's right, just some random stuff. And so I have these three random things, and all i got to do is left click, hold them, drag down, and I'm going to hit Alt-G on my keyboard, and I'm going to say... Uh, let's call it random group, right? Because it's just some random things I pulled together. And there you go. And there's your group. Here's your new group. Uh, you can like do, you can do a color selected. You can do random. You can do a gradient. You can do gradient. I like to kind of choose the same color twice, and then your your groups, uh, the, that entire group's the same color. But you could do like a you could do like a, a true gradient, which is like you know click click one color and then like click a color a little far further away. And I have like a lot, you know, a slight variation in the colors, which is kind of cool too. Um, over here, if I left-click this, it disengages the the channel, so it basically mutes it. Uh, here's my panning, so I can do left-right panning. I can do volume, and then this here sends it to the mixture track, so I can set it to mixture track one. Um, and then let's go back. Oh, then let's let's look up here real quick. This is a swing. This is a parameter that. Uh, make sure your beats fall a little bit off the beat essentially so it's like a little jazzy I guess you might say um, let's go back to that drum group right if I go here this is my piano roll view right so I can actually go in and see things in the piano in the piano roll 
Oops, I don't want to hit that because I have the video going. Um, so let's go back here, take it out of piano roll. And um, so we talked about the right, everything you can do with the right clicking, the cloning, the filling the steps, the rotating. But there's one more thing we can do in FL Studio, and that's the left click on the sample. When we left click on the sample, we have all types of fun stuff we can do. We can do um, our envelopes, right? So our attack and sustain and decay times. Uh, we can do all types of you know modulations here. Um, so I'm not going to get into all of this now, but there's there's a lot to unpack here. I just want to let you know that it is here. So you can do X Y modulations. Um, you can. It's even a little bit like a mini Edison. So I can do a pitch correction, right? So if I change the pitch up here, it's going to show it up here and this little bit here. But I can like, okay, I'm now I'm 100 cents up, so I'm a semi tone up. Um, I can do time shifting too. So it's actually got some of the stuff that Edison has in it, and then you can see the waveform down here. Um, and so once again, and you can also sign it to a mixer track from up here as well. Um, so that was from left clicking on the sample. You get to all these cool features. So that's all packed into the step sequencer. I uh, hope you found that useful. Also, there's a few options down here for uh, resizing the window. You can add in more than 16 steps if you want to have multiple bars you're working with. Uh, but that's a quick overview of the channel rack step sequencer. Thanks for watching.